Hey there, Daniel Hatmaker. Uh, I don't do many videos, as you can probably tell from my YouTube channel, but had uh, something come up over the last week or so that I thought deserved a video. So a little backstory. Uh, earlier this year, I bought a pair of black Echo shoes. You can see right here, this is the uh, Echo Atlanta. Nice shoe. Uh, very comfortable, basically um, for working. Uh, you know, I work in a professional environment and wanted a, a light shoe that I could wear that was durable. And uh, you'll notice that this pair does not have the insoles, and that's kind of the reason for my video today. Now, I bought that pair from Macy's and had a great experience, and it did come with insoles. I mean, you would expect shoes to come with insoles, right? I would hope so. And one of the reasons why I bought the shoe was because of the insole that came in it very comfortable uh, insole that they call a poly u air insole it has this little cushion on the heel that kind of makes it better i have uh, some minor back issues and the extra cushion support is uh, is great and this also kind of wicks away sweat and, and things like that i don't have super sweaty feet but sometimes feet are cooped up in these shoes all day they, they sweat so to have that additional um, help out in that area is is nice too so I thought, hey, these shoes have been working out so well. I've got this old pair of brown shoes that uh, just the support was not as great. And I, th I thought, you know, I'll, I'll get a, another pair of the same shoe, but in brown. Got the black ones. Let's get the brown ones. So I do that, but instead of going to Macy's, I order them direct from the manufacturer from Echo. They were cheaper. So I'm like, well, gosh, if I go straight to the manufacturer, save a little bit of money, that's fine. So I order them online. The shoes come but they don't come with the insoles and not just no, like it's not like there was a different insole. There was just no insole that came with it. So same shoe, just Brown, no insole. So send an email to customer care. Don't get anything back. Um, make a phone call. Uh, very pleasant. They send out a new pair of insoles in two days, which actually came last night. So the insole they sent, is this guy and it's a nice insole you know for a I think a standard shoe but you'll notice if you can tell it doesn't have the uh, the nice little heel cushion there it's not the uh, same type of insole it's a little different it doesn't have the uh, the you know the sweat wicking away function that the um, poly U air insole had uh, this is a vegetable tanned insole with arch support and I'm assuming it's pretty comfortable it has this comfort fiber system uh, similar to the other one does as well, but just just not quite as nice. I even tried it uh, for a little bit this morning just to see if I would like it as much, and it's definitely not the same thing. So I call Echo and just tell them, hey, thanks for sending the insoles, but they're the wrong ones. The reason why I bought the shoes was because of the insoles. Can you send me the right insoles? This is where it gets interesting. So apparently they only stock one kind of replacement insole and it's that one. And there's really no way for me to get the correct insole that should have been put in the shoes that I ordered to begin with. Uh, what I was told was that those insoles are supposed to come in the shoes only and that the only way that they would send me those insoles was to go to the warehouse, take them out of another pair of shoes of the same size and then send them to me. And I, understand that sounds a little bit unreasonable but my point to the customer care representative was that I I didn't create this issue and it's not something that I should have to take ownership and solve or take less than what I had uh, originally asked for which was the shoes with the right insoles so their workaround is for me to return the shoes I bought they will then exchange them for shoes that hopefully have the right insoles in them and send them to me. Now, my shoes came with the return label, but because I'm not a, uh, I don't know, as a rewards member, some sort of loyalty club, that it wasn't a uh, prepaid label. So they emailed me a prepaid label, which then I will need to print out and tape on the box and, you know, then physically take it to the UPS store or, uh, leave it outside for my UPS man to, to grab it sometime today. All this time consuming and me kind of like having to do 
uh, a lot of extra work to solve a problem that I didn't create to begin with. I ordered shoes. I expected them to come with soles. They didn't. I asked for the right soles to come. They didn't. And so now I'm left with kind of uh, dealing with this issue. And so I like the shoes a lot. And uh, I'm going to go through the process of them sending me the brown shoes uh, with hopefully the correct insoles. Um, but it will definitely be the last time that I buy the, the Echo shoes. Uh, which is sad because I like them, but I, me personally, I just can't reward this type of behavior by continuing to give you my business. So I don't know if anybody from Echo watches this, and it doesn't matter if you do or don't. Uh, I'm just letting the community out there who is considering a shoe purchase, um, what they should consider before they buy from Echo Online. Maybe it would be better for you to go to a, a Macy's or a Nordstrom or anyone else that sells Echo shoes and, and just pay more. I mean, it was like a $50 difference from buying them from Macy's versus buying them straight from Echo. And at least you'll know that you'll get the insoles and you'll get a pair of shoes that uh, you can then take home and wear that day instead of, you know, I'm um, a week or so now in without being able to wear my shoes and it'll probably be another week or so by the time I send the shoes back and uh, get the shoes that I was hoping to get uh, in the beginning. So that's my story. Not very riveting, I know, but that's what it is. So thank you for your time. Thank you, Echo, for at least uh, trying to uh, work out the situation with me. Uh, however, I just think it falls a little bit short. So, all right, that's it, Daniel Hatmaker. Signing off.